This week's review, we're back to Popeyes for their hot or not, as it may be, honey range. And if you stick around, you'll see exactly how I rated it. As you can see there, an actual honeycomb. And uh, the whole point of this video, which is the hot honey range. So that's what we're reviewing this week. And to start with, I'll say it was a different kind of sauce. I don't think I've ever had hot honey before. Um, although I'm sure I've got a bottle in the cupboard that I still haven't opened. Um, as you can see there, unboxing everything. And the main point, as I say, is, is the hot honey sauce. Basically the same Popeyes, or was it? I don't know. I, I think they've slightly changed something in terms of the batter, which you'll, you'll see in a minute. And as you can see there, the biscuit. So fries, tenders, hot honey sandwich, hot honey wings, and the biscuit. So the fries, I, I don't know, they, they seem to have changed them, or they gave me the Cajun fries. They were definitely crispier, kind of still fluffy in the middle. Um, I think like reasonable fries, they, they weren't out of this world, but they were quite skinny fries. I'm sure the fries that I had in the past from uh, Popeyes, unless I'm, I'm thinking of a, a different place, I'm sure they weren't as thin as this. Um, but I'll possibly be proven wrong looking at other videos. If you've not checked them out, have a look at the other Popeyes videos. Tell me what you thought of the Popeyes in general. Um, I also had habanero and mango sauce, uh, just to have a different sauce and a garlic mayo, although I didn't actually use the garlic mayo. Um, yeah, the fries were, they, they were all right. They were just a little bit thin, um, but they were, they were decent and, and sort of, you know, in terms of crispy and fluffy, they, they were decent. So on to the tenders, not particularly big in terms of chicken breast, but they were pretty decent thickness. They weren't a million miles off. I'll give them, they weren't a million miles off KFC's um, tenders. And as I say, is it the same Popeyes? Because the coating, although it looks like it, doesn't seem to explode like the, um, kind of the, the crispy coating that I'm, I'm sure when I very first had Popeyes, um, seems to just explode off everything. So they were, they were pretty decent tenders. And as you can see there, I had to use the Just Eat uh, menu app sort of bit because the delivery just didn't show the hot honey range as the limited edition range. So um, definitely still order from delivery, but decent tenders cooked well. So, you know, I can't really knock them. Um, they, they were pretty decent in terms of, uh, as tenders go, let's say, in terms of KFC or anybody else, they, they were pretty decent, just not very big. But again, maybe shrinkflation, I don't know. I'm sure I say that like every week, but. Yeah, the hot honey sauce, which you'll get with the biscuit, if you order a biscuit, but you don't get a hot honey sauce otherwise, it's just on each item, as in wings and, and the sandwich. Um, but yeah, having it as a sauce was, was pretty good, because obviously you can try it with the tenders, try it with the fries. Um, and it was pretty decent. It wasn't hot, so not like a hot sauce or a buffalo sauce. It was just a little bit of heat, um, kind of in the back of your mouth. So the hot side and the honey tender, um, tender, the hot honey, toning it down. As you can see there, advertised versus reality or just gone. Um, it wasn't far off. Like I'll give Popeyes, they, they aren't scamming everybody, let's say, as my walk and talk video. Maybe people got value out of that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't think you were kind of being scammed this week, um, definitely from Popeyes. The only thing I'll say is, there wasn't as much sauce, and I don't know why they skimp on the sauces. A few other places, Jollibee's and everybody else seem to skimp on sauces, and I, I don't know, not Jollibee, sorry, KFC skimp on sauces, and I'm, I'm not really sure why. Um, the brioche bun, I think, overall is a nice taste, but it's just a little bit soft. Could do with, um, I think, Ohana's pretzel bun. Um, it's, it's pretty decent. You can see there, just looking at the prices, it's, again, not very cheap. Once you've added each piece in, obviously, with the wings and the box meal, yeah, it's, it's pretty steep. Um, the overall bun, uh, sorry, the overall burger in terms of the bun, the fillet and the piece of cheese was, was pretty decent. Like, I'll give Popeyes the do's all day long. Their fillets and, um, you know, tenders, were, uh, I, there's, there's not much to beat them, I'd say. Um, and as I say, with slightly less exploding batter, um, it's definitely an improvement or <clears throat> a slight change. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it was a good burger or sandwich. Um, and the hot honey range, I think, is definitely a, a good addition. It's a shame if it is a, a limited edition as well. Um, but weirdly, on their website, they don't advertise it. They've still got like the Louisiana barbecue sauce, I think. Um, but maybe that will get updated soon. 
So on to the slight disappointment. Um, the wings, they, they just weren't doing much at all. Like look at the size of me compared to, I mean, right, I've got reasonably sized hands, but they're, they're, they're pretty tiny wings. I mean, these guys have not been to the gym their entire life. So they weren't very good wings, I would say. If it's just a one-off, fair enough, but yeah, not particularly good. And it was as if the chicken was like, I think a little bit overdone or, or a little bit old or sat around under, under heat lamps um, before getting the sauce. It was kind of like a little bit chewy. Um, yeah, a little bit, I can't really describe it any way. It was, it was just a little bit chewy. So they, they weren't particularly good wings and the flats were no better. They, were, they just wasn't much meat on them. So on to, as you can see there, the little write up um, and I appreciate that website. If you wanna go and check that website out. Um, for kind of the information on what to me is essentially a, a scone, as you see there, hot honey sauce, um, as I've already said, but either way, um, scone, scone, whichever one you say in the UK. That's what I can compare it to. It's a bit fluffy in the middle, but these are unlike scone, um, a little bit more crunch to the outside of it. Just, I've got nothing else to say apart from it's a bit weird. I don't, you know, I'm not saying Americans are weird, but you know, maybe some of them are, maybe some of the UK people are, but to have that as a meal, um, I can't really put, it's like I'm, I'm trying to say, I can't put where it would go in a meal, but Americans apparently seem to love them. Um, so I've, I've not really got much to say about it. It was just a little bit strange, like a little mini, uh, almost like a cake texture, um, but with a little crunchy outside. So it was nice with the hot honey sauce, but anyway, onto the ratings as the meal wasn't, you know, overall it wasn't bad. And as you'll see, um, starting off with 8.5, 8.5, 7.5, 6.5, and 9 for the hot honey sauce. I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. If you haven't, check out these videos.